So the course is, it, we, we start off with level two motorsport and then we've got a level three motorsport, uh, which we do the extended diploma on um, two year program, um, carries UCAS points. Um, very much a mixture of practical and theory. Uh, so you'll learn all of the theory that you would need to learn uh, to know, understand how motor cars work and how race cars work, uh, both in the retail motor industry and the motorsport industry. Um, we've got our own race team, we've got our own race cars here that we work on, so it is really, you will be treated very much as if you're working for us uh, as an employee and um, completing all of the tasks on the car, preparing them for the race events, coming to the race events to work on the cars and uh, then uh, repairing them after the race events. So the main things that attracted me to the course, so I've got, I'm actually retraining uh, sort of a career change for me, so I definitely wanted something that would be able to teach me the dynamics of actually engine management, diagnostics and those kind of things. So I had quite a lot of hands-on experience, so coming through this course then actually gave me the opportunity to learn all the different things um, that I otherwise wouldn't be able to learn through my actual day job. Um, so yeah, coming to this course has been a great big help sort of in my actual career change that I'm doing at the moment. So the cars we've got, the, the race team cars we've got, we prepare all of our own cars. We take a standard road car and we strip it out. Uh, we've got the rules and regulations for the formula that we currently race in and we follow them. We prepare the car to that with a safety cage and with the modifications to the engine and the suspension and uh, then we go and race it. The difference really between motorsport and motor vehicle is yes, we will learn everything that you would need to know about a motor vehicle to work in a retail garage, you know, how the motor vehicle works, how it all runs, uh, you know, so we want to look at how can we make it faster, how can we make it go around corners better. Um, and a lot of things are completely different to what you'd find on a road car. Working in the workshop and doing all the stuff we do here day to day, the best way I can put it for anyone looking to join this course is you're learning exactly what you want to learn with like-minded people and it's just constant, just like joking, everyone's sort of relaxed but you still get the work done to a high standard which is what I love about this place. Female in the industry, um, I've always been really confident in it. Um, I don't really think too much about that side of things, like I said everyone's always been really helpful. Like I said I work with a team of you know, sort of 30, 40 guys every weekend. Um, they're really, really handy, they're all like really helpful not afraid to sort of ask for help from the me that at the end of the day we all need to get a job done and if that's the case then you know we all sort of chip in and help out. For me it's part of my career change so I actually was uh, an estate agent so I did that for seven and a half years and I, I enjoyed it but for me I've always come from quite a hands-on background. Um, I, I had quite a bit of a sort of car background as well growing up as a kid and it's something that I wanted to change into. I found the transition quite easy as well and like I said the, whole, the course has really helped with that transition into sort of learning a totally new industry. Uh, it's, I would definitely say it's beneficial to go and do something like that and come and do this course. In a motorsport industry I would feel confident having worked on all of these race cars of course with the different setups because of course we have to go through Canberra and Castle Lock because it's autograph so we run quite a high specs. Not only do you learn about getting into and making the most out of the motorsport industry but if you decide that's not really your thing you still have more than enough experience to go out and get an apprenticeship at a garage doing road cars. Reading reviews on Google and speaking to people that I know that do both courses just the teaching staff, the teaching facilities, the way the units are laid out and the assignments, it's just so much better. The sort of things that we look for in the students is really we want the keen and willing attitude. We want the students to be able to um, want to learn about the industry, want to develop their knowledge further. Uh, you know, we will give you all of the knowledge and all of the skills, but uh, you know, if you're not keen, then we can't put that into you. Progression from the courses, uh, from our level two course, you can progress on to the level three course um, or into the retail motorsport or motor vehicle industry. For the level three course, uh, you've got the option. It's quite a wide progression route actually for the BTEC. So you can go on to university and look at things like aerospace, aeronautics, uh, obviously motorsport engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, etc. Or you can go into the retail motor industry or the motorsport industry. Past students, yep, we've got uh, past students. One of our past students is currently number one mechanic with West Surrey Racing being BMW British Touring Car Team. Uh, we've got ex-students as well working for Mercedes-Benz, AMG Petronas, Formula One as composites technicians and uh, McLaren F1 as well as composites technicians. I travel, it takes me two hours a day to get here. 
Yeah, two hours a day. So there are no excuses dedicated to the cause. You know, if you want to do it, you've got to put yourself out there and, and make do.